What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today we're gonna show you how to make a very simple aim offset. Basically, make our character's body and animations, face, uh, whatever the camera is basically aiming and pointing. It's gonna be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. But first, check out the link in the description to get our some Unreal Engine courses on WinFox. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is go into my nice folder, where basically right now I just had uh, set up some blend space and some animations, okay? So, um, now I want to make sure that basically my character is aiming wherever I look up or down, uh, like pointing to the direction where the camera is looking. So, what we have to do is go ahead and create a new animation, and now we're going to create an aim offset. But the thing is that we're going to be uh, using the aim offset 1D, which will just involve one direction, which in case it will just be the pitch. Now it's in legacy because in 5.1 they change it, but um, it is still very useful and it's easier for us to use. So let's go ahead and create it. Now assign which skeleton you have it on. In my case, it will be with this one. And this is going to be the aim offset, um, well, my aim offset. So you put, you know, whatever name you want. Let's go ahead and open it up. So uh, this looks very uh, familiar to a normal blend space. So we have to place an horizontal axis. This will be just the pitch. And then it will range from 90, uh, minus 90 degrees into 90 degrees. Okay, great. So the next thing that we have to do is go into additive settings. And we basically want to add this um, aim offset into our idle animation. So go ahead and find your idle animation. So in my case, let's see, is here idle rifle. And go ahead and save. Okay, so now we have to basically get different animation poses from looking up 90 degrees and then looking forward and then looking minus 90 degrees down. And we'll basically merge them together and just smoothly transition between them. So this is going to be basically the aim uh, forward. So what we have to do is duplicate our normal idle animation and this will be the AO underscore um, look or well, aim uh, forward. Go. So go ahead and open this. So uh, what we have to do is just make it a single um, frame, a single pose animation. So just right click on the very beginning and then you can remove all the frames. And then right click and do it again just to make sure that there's no uh, frames. So you can see that the uh, character pre pretty much doesn't move. If there's one or two frames, try to delete them, but really it shouldn't matter um, too much. But try to always get the, the all the frames uh, deleted. So uh, what we have to do now is go into edited and in type and you say mesh space and then in the both, uh, base pose type just uh, put it into selected animation scaled. And now again we have to find our um, idle animation. So idle rifle where is it? Here we go. So we can now press save and we can close this one up. So now we have to duplicate this one and this one instead of our aim forward will be our aim up for example. So let's go ahead and open this. Now you can see that it added some frames. Don't worry, we can just right click and delete them again. Like I said, if it's the, if there's like this, uh, when you press it and there's always gonna be some frames moving, don't worry, in the, the uh, later the result, will, this will not happen basically. So um, what we have to do now is basically go into the skeleton tree and edit um, basically the spine. For example, we're gonna select the spine too and basically rotate it the, the height that you wanted to be able to look up. So um, just go into the skeleton tree. If you don't see, you can just go in window, so the skeleton tree. Select uh, one of your spine bones, whatever you prefer. For example, can you use the spines too? And then uh, go into your um, rotate tool and then you start rotating it. And uh, you can just face it as much as you want to, uh, the maximum that you want it to be able to uh, look up. So for example, gonna be something like this. This is 60 degrees. You can put it in exactly 90 degrees, but I recommend just to not make the character just, you know, kind of fold and uh, just decrease it a bit. So now what you have to do is say key and there we go. Now the animation will be placed aiming up and if we close it and open it up, you will see that now it's perfectly uh, looking up. And then we'll do the same, get the forward, duplicate it and then um, this will be the uh, aiming down. Let's go ahead and open it up. And then we'll do the same thing. Don't worry about the frames. If it doesn't lead you, the, the end result will not look like that. Go to the skeleton, spine two, and then I will try to rotate it again uh, 60 degrees. There we go. 
and then we can just press the, the key over here and then it will add it we can close it and then it's always aiming down so now we're going to go ahead and open back the aim offset blend space and then what we have to do is go to as details and uh in the asset browser just get our animations so just find the ao and then the we get the aiming down on here on the left the aiming forward on the middle which will be exactly zero and then aiming up it will be on the right so if i uh hold control you will see how it starts from looking down to the middle and up uh smoothly blending so now we can go ahead and uh just close this so let's go ahead and open up our um, animation blueprint if you don't know how to access to it you can just go into your third person character blueprint and go into your character mesh and then in here in anime class you can just search it and open it up my one is pretty simple but yeah you can just go ahead and go into the anime graph and what we have to do is leave some space just before the output pose and then just get our aim offset you just drag it over here and then connect it and connect it over here great so the alpha we can leave it as it is but the thing that's going to change is the pitch so just right click and promote it to a variable so now if i compile you will see that it's normal but if i change the pitch for example into 90 degrees you will see that now he's aiming up and i'll set it back to zero but the thing is that we have to control this dynamically depending on when the camera is basically looking so we can just go into the van graph and don't worry you have more stuff than me for example using the default one what you just want to do is go into the update um, animation you want to uh, get pawn owner try get pawn owner and then what you want to do is basically say get base aim rotation so we have this nice uh handy node and we're gonna just, just right click and split it and we'll basically get the y-axis which is the pitch so we now will get the pitch and you set it over here after this but we have to basically check some things if it's basically in the range of minus 90 or 90 degrees to basically prevent things from breaking so the first thing i want to do is just uh subtract this by 360 and then what we're going to do is set it into be the pitch and then what we want to do is get this into be um bigger or equal than 180 i'm gonna check this so this is just checking the range between minus 90 and 90 degrees basically and i'm gonna basically add a branch over here that will make sure that is before we actually access this so if this is true it will continue that but if it's false we just go ahead copy this paste this and then we'll get it from our um axis over here so basically the direct one will go into this one and then the one that is minus 360 will go into the true statement so now we can just compound save and if we press play you will see that if we look up our character will look up and if we look down the character will look down now we can basically improve this depending on um how you basically set the the poses to be so if you basically went here and increased his uh, look up you could definitely um, make it more exaggerated or whatever you know you can have it as you want and then also for example on the look down we could basically go ahead and exaggerate a bit and make it look a bit more down and press another key and now the 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 ranges will be a bit different you can see and of course i made it very fast but if you were to do it a bit slower and more then attention to detail you will basically get a better result so yeah guys that's it if you found it to tell helpful i really appreciate you look at that video and subscribe to my channel i have lots of unreal engine fast tutorials of this one so uh check them out also check out the links in the description for awesome unreal engine courses and with all said bye bye